Julia. Do it, go, do it. On the far left picture, she's been um, involved with Special Olympics since she was a baby because she's my child and I've been involved for a long time. Um, in the middle, she's uh, with her uh, unified partner for cycling, uh, Stephen. And so they partnered and got gold a few years ago at Fall Games. And then um, her, her most recent involvement with Special Olympics is starting a unified champion school. And so um, let me see if I can get Julia, if she's still there. Oh, I there am she here. is. And so I know um, Julia had a question for you, Loretta. Sure. All right, so I am starting a unified champions club at my school. And I was wondering um, to you, like how important is it promoting inclusion and in unified sports in our schools? It's very important because like you heard my story about going to school, School is supposed to be a memory that every child would have the rest of their life. If you ask an adult about a job and that adult becomes a senior citizen, the first thing they're going to say to you, I remember when I went to school and how bad people treated me. Or I remember when I went to school and I did this, this. I was on the honor society. So school is a very important role in a young person's life. It actually helps shape that person for that next level to become an adult. So if you're that child who's getting teased all the time, you're not going to feel comfortable being that adult to go out and work in the community or even think that you are wanted. So as you become that senior and you think, you know what, I wish things would have been better when I was a kid in school. And now when I look at the unified programs, there's less bullying, there's less, uh, even not even for the person with the ID. But regular ed students who are very bright or who have issues with um, not being open or being able to express themselves when they come into, I heard a story about a young person who came into a unified program and this made a difference in his life. Because he was thinking about doing away with himself from this world. And then he met this young person who had many challenges and worked with him. So the unified programs are very, very, very important in our schools. And like my mom says, you teach a kid when they're tiny at home to not be discriminatory or not, you know, be mean to another child just because another child is different. When that kid grows up, then that kid has a better feeling about somebody else. And that's what the school systems need to have. I think every school should have a unified program. We use sports as a catalyst, as the message to get the regular ed kids to come in. But even if you have a club, if you take a bunch of students and send them together, some with intellectual disability and some without, you'll find every one of them has something in common. They might like the same music. They might like the same clothes. They might like to do the same things. They want to go to the prom. They want to do all these things. And those are things I did not have the opportunity I don't want to turn back around my life, but if I could, and one thing could happen, I wish they would have had unified programs in school when I went to school. Maybe I would feel much better about school. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, we really appreciate that message. I, I, this is uh, the third unified program that I've been involved trying to, to uh, begin at a school, and it's it is very impactful. And then uh, having unified sports in our communities, uh, we, we have that thriving locally and we see the difference it makes for sure. Yes. And I think uh, here in Texas, here in Connecticut, all the schools are unified. Wow. All the schools. We're, we're far away from that in Georgia, but uh, you know, it's, uh, it's great to get that message from you, you know, the perspective of those that can remember a time it wasn't that way and then have noted the difference it makes for sure. And I think there should be still some traditional programming because a lot of the older athletes hadn't experienced the unified and it's different for them. So it's the tough part for us as Special Olympics as a movement that we are is to balance that. And I think once we balance that, I could see in the school programs and in the college programs, but once you're out of school and college, some for some of our athletes, there's nothing. That's I heard so a, parent a couple of weeks ago at a bocce tournament. I said, how's your daughter doing now that she's graduated? She said, do you ever see a Cliff Loretta? I said, yes. She was so happy and so successful in school. And then when school ended it, it was like she walked off the cliff. Yeah, 